Hello everybody, this is Fabrice and today I wanted to show you something about this image here, which is a, uh, an image of a chair in one of the scenes I've created for a course that I have on my website, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but this is specifically about how to uh, create what I call microscopic level of detailing. So I'll exit out of the camera just quickly to show you here. So basically this chair has a very, very simple um, metal material here, which I can show you there in just a sec. And it's uh, really... A not much to it, except it's got a, a roughness, uh, an image in the roughness map, and here a world aligned texture. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. But just for now, um, to show you that <coughs> this, uh, by the way, this is a, a Quixel uh, texture, which is now free for Unreal Engine users, which is fantastic. But here, it's an 8K uh, image, which is from the uh, um, Imperfection tab, so I'll show you that in a sec. But right now, I just want to demonstrate how these images being so, so high resolution, when we apply them in the uh, roughness uh, section of the um, metallic um, material, we can start to uh, completely interactively play with how it's almost like it's the age of the metal. I don't know how to kind of describe it <laughs> in any other way, but here we'll have um, a metal which kind of looks a little bit typical CG, maybe a little bit cold and uh, void of sort of any interference, um, you know, that hasn't been used and looks a little bit too perfect. And then when adding this, um, this texture map in the roughness channel, then it's kind of adding these little uh, very, very fine details here. So I'll um, increase the roughness and it's a little bit like here we're adding um, wear and tear to the to the uh, to the metal and it's it's kind of coming uh, has uh, had a bit of age and here it's almost like it's kind of frosted over and here it looks really old almost like it's been kind of um, used and stored in some kind of basement and uh, uh, has been hasn't been retrieved for a long time so obviously can uh, with a little bit of more work you can kind of uh, affect this in different ways but this is, I think, is very, very exciting because we can now add this kind of idea of what I call storytelling in a little bit in materials. And when we understand how to use uh, PBR really well and uh, to set it up correctly, it's uh, it becomes um, a kind of a, a tool to uh, that we can sort of tell the stories, as it were. So I know it sounds a bit corny, but really, uh, kind of that's what it is. Materials have had a, a things happen to them and. We uh, we kind of we, we say what these things are. So the other thing here, when I showed you this world align texture node, is that here when I move this chair, for example, and if I kind of I'll increase the size of the roughness as well, so that enables us to move uh, to change the level of detail effectively of the of the uh, the roughness map here, and if I move the chair in in space you'll see that the little scratches stay in place so that means that these this texture is not uv mapped to the chair but it is more so um mapped to the world and the chair is kind of traveling through it uh, if you you can see very clearly so that means that when we uh, duplicate these chairs on uh, on a larger scale well they're all going to have a different story uh, the, the the scratches will be different and sometimes it's very easy to spot uh, even when there is some kind of weathering or, or elaborate effect done on multiple assets like this a little bit like you have the the uh, the folds here on the cushions well these can be repeated and be uh, seen quite obviously so in this case that that's not going to happen uh, as long as uh, we can we can discern the uh, the um, the details here. 
So, uh, so, so yeah, so that's it. That's, that's kind of just mainly seeing how easy this is. And it's part of a kind of a, a bigger idea uh, that I go into quite into in depth in the course about how to um, kind of conceptualize uh, PBR materials in order to be able to layer all the different uh, kind of um, scales and different things, use all the different channels that we have available in the, uh, in in the material editor uh, the uh, roughness and um the color of course and and the normal so um so yeah so if you want to know more about the course please feel free to uh, jump over to my website on fabriceborelli.com i'll put the link below and uh, don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any questions we um we actually if you're interested to register in the course uh, we also meet uh, weekly at the moment and we can have uh, live sessions together so if you're interested uh, come over and check it out. All right, I'll see you uh, in the next video.